Gabby here is Ray, and then you formulate a question for us. Here we go. Chris, Zach. The way. Card in pew pocket announces, I am here. I made only one statement because of a bad winter. Greece is the word. Greece is the way. I am feeling real-life emergencies or flubbing behind the scenes. As a child, I was abandoned in a story made of trees. Here's the small gasp of this clearing come upon again. Such a good poem. I'm going to ask what I think will sound like a simple question. Um, what is going on with the quotation marks in this poem? Oh, I love that question. Um, everybody should get the text out. And Gabby, while we're all getting the text out, can you say what has been put in quotation marks? Yeah. Um, for anybody who doesn't have the poem in front of them, uh, I am here is in quotation marks in the first stanza. Card in Pew Pocket announces, quote, I am here, quote. And at the very end of the poem, we have... Um, Here's a small gasp of this clearing come, quote, upon, quote, new quote, again, quote. That, is, that last part is so languagey and so radical. And the idea, and so almost, and also so Louis Zukovskian, putting a, a preposition in quotes. Because, yeah, and you know, no period, like, which, the, like, there is a period in I am here, right? I am here, period. Uh, no period on again. Yeah. I think we should all go around our days putting all of our preposition in quotes. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll meet you on the, uh, I'll meet you across the 38th <laughs> Street Bridge. It just puts everything into skeptical doubt. It's so great. Like, where the fuck are we if I'm not even <laughs> sure that the placemaking, space determining prepositions of our lives are in doubt? All right. So, Lainey, Dave, and Jason, briefly respond to Gabby's challenge to try to explain the poem through the use of the quotation marks, starting with Lainey. Good luck. I am here. It's wonderful that that's in quotation because it immediately calls into question what is here. And that phrase, I am here, which we're all familiar uh, So, I feel like it's asking a question about where we are in time because the, and also place, because the poem is traveling from a church to a season to a cinema reference with Greece is the word and oh, into you almost sang that. stories. I can sing it. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> no, I won't. It's, well, well, we should but, at least explain into, the reference since you're, this... since you're passing by it. The reference is to Greece. Go ahead. It's a yeah. musical, yes? film the musical grease mm. is a word is a word that you heard it's got groove it's got feeling and then it goes from <laughs> there into narrativity this question of well i'm in a story and and then there's the metacognition of ah i was abandoned in a story and then the awareness of oh, the story how real is the story and then we come to upon and again which again take us out of time into the mind looping a story or a biblical story or a fairy tale or a story that's cinematic and it's not actually true. It's a fiction. So Wow, yeah, Laney, 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 Laney. You know, you are I know your life is very distracting right now. And that I just have to say that maybe you should be distracted all the time because that was utterly yeah. brilliant and ready and ready made. So great. So Thank glad you. you kicked that off. Okay. So let us turn to Dave and Jason. Briefly your thoughts on Gabby's challenge. Yeah, this is a this is such a great question. Um, so, what are the implications of quotes? What does it mean to be in quotes? Um, well, it could be uh, a direct statement that somebody said. Um, it could be uh, you know some type of emphasis, uh, or it could be like you mentioned earlier, Al, uh, some way of providing emphasis uh, or uh, expressing sort of doubt, even sarcastic. You know, the the air quotes about something. So to the extent that this um, poem could be seen generally as a way of um, approaching you know, linear narratives and unraveling them and the experience of feeling um, sometimes abandoned in them and a little lost, um, maybe the use of quotes 
in some sense is telling us to relax, to understand that you know, maybe they're not always uh, as concrete as statements that have a right or wrong uh, fixed in time, like when you said, um, sort of meaning, but uh, maybe we should approach them with this understanding that we can doubt them, that they're not inviolable. Um, mm -hmm. Something like that. That's just a thought. That's really great. Uh, qu quotes, the, implica the simplest implication of the question is that quotation marks are distance-making, irony-making, or doubt-creating. And it's radical skepticism is what the language poets are attempting to do, particularly earlier in their careers. Jason, quick thought on this. Every time I read this poem, I have a totally different response to it. And um, today, my response is one of well, slight ominousness. One thing is that I love, like the way the use of the verb announces in the first, the second line, because it's as if, I mean, to take that literally, it would be card is saying out loud, right? Announcing, I am here. Um, so that, but we know, and it's in the way that, like in a, a Catholic mass, the bread is changed to Jesus's flesh. It's here, like a piece of cardboard is transformed into Jesus's or God's voice. I think that maybe also important to the quotation marks is the fact that there are no quotation marks around the quote from the song Greece mm. <laughs> should get quotation marks. Right. Um, and then, uh, which um, leads to the next two lines, which I've never really paid so much attention to, um, real life emergencies are flubbing behind the scenes. <clears throat> and that like behind the scenes is, you know, who's, who is behind the scenes? Who would be flubbing behind the scenes? I see at the end, is most like a, a Bugs Bunny cartoon with Daffy Duck, where Daffy Duck is running around and trying to stop like the animator from erasing him. <laughs> and so you have, you see the paper that has the animated character, and then you see on that, like an animated animator, <laughs> of course has another animator behind them. Because the after everything we've gotten, this the second half is so charming. Yes. Um, and the the it's almost like a child suddenly uh, que questioning, say, like the voice of a parent yeah. or the voice of storyteller. Yeah who tells the story in which one is which in which one is in yeah and so uh yeah that thank you jason i love the i love the way that turns toward the end too and um, the flubbing behind the scenes is the hardest part of it ray has an explanation mm -hmm. for it which we don't need to get into now but then we turned uh, as a child i was abandoned and nothing there it is a story that's been told but there're no quotations around that this becomes a story of abandonment it's as well